green, right? Yeah. Everybody was confused to say blue for green. I know, that's uh, the it's the blue and the green and the white and the yellow that always confuse me. Whenever it's red, it's so easy to remember. Yeah, Red's so it's like easy. you said blue, and I'm like, no, I think it's green, but I should say It was blue green. because it was like right. The blue was the first one. What's up, everybody? Uh, Trisha's in the house. Aaron's in the house. Lily Pickle's in the house. Brown Girl's in the house. Coogee's on. We got the Coogee's on. We're going to be uh, going over today's thrift haul. So if you were on the live earlier today, you saw how much we picked up. We're going to be going over everything. We did leave quite a few behind. So, uh, yeah, you guys can see everything that we picked up. Green was half off. Green was not half off. Yes, green was not half off. And we're trying to decide right now because we got to mark the tag. So we're like, which one was half off and which one wasn't half off? We got to figure that out. What's up, Humphrey? Appreciate everybody hopping in. We got how many bags? One, two, three, four, five. We got six bags full of goodies. We're trying to get through these pretty quick. And then uh, I separate them all out, put some winter stuff off to the side. So that way we can put that away into the storage unit. All kinds of good stuff. So. What's up, Mary? Mary's in the house. Um, Trisha's laughing. Trisha's having a good old time. Appreciate everybody hopping in. If you're watching on YouTube on live or Facebook on live, definitely consider hitting that thumbs up. We got 19 people on Facebook and YouTube right now. That's crazy. Um, have I, yeah, no, you're good. Should, should be fine. Do we usually have that light up? I think so. I don't know. Oh, man. Does that bother you? Yeah, well, I just wanted to fix it so it looks nice. See? Now it looks all nice right there, all the way across. I gotta get, we gotta figure out what we're gonna do with the Coogees. We gotta figure out, I wanna get a rack that hangs up right there, goes all the way across, but we'll do the Coogees sideways instead of that way. Mm. And just keep it always up there. But they're gonna block the windows. Yeah, that's true. You can do something right here. Or we can get shelves that hang up on the wall up there and we fold them nice and then we put them up on the shelves. So they're not hanging like that. We can hang a couple like that, but then the rest will be on that corner and the shelf. You could stagger it, right right put it here, put it there, put it there. What's up, resale tourist? Kate's in the house. What's up, Kate? Um, are you okay? Everyone wants to know, are you okay from yesterday? You want to hop on camera really quick and tell everybody that you're alive and well? <laughs> I'm alive and well. Yeah, she's good. It, was, it wasn't... The, the good thing is we got an awesome car that we get to drive for the next few days. Well, right, so. It's so bougie, guys. Yeah. I mean, my car is a very simple, basic. I don't even have the camera on the back. I still have, like, the key. It's basic yeah, car. It's a push to start, and she's like, what do How I do? How do you do it? <laughs> it's like, do you put your foot on the brake and start the car? And then there's no, like, handle. You push to park, and you push to reverse. It's, like, so fancy. I'm like, man, I'm not. We're gonna have to get a new car. What we're gonna we go back for, to our car. What do we get like, for rental? It's a it's a Lincoln uh, Nautic Nautic. Uh, it's like nautical Nautis. or something like that, or Nauticus or something like that. It's it's, it's, it's a Lincoln. It's, it's a crazy. Lincoln, and it's nice. That's all I gotta say. It makes me want to go buy a new car. That's you start exactly. the car with your imagination. I made him drive yeah. it. I'm like, so how? Um, That's awesome. Do you? And then when you're stopped at a stoplight, you could take your foot off the brake because it has yep. auto stop. So you don't even have to have. You can just sit there and sleep at the there. stoplight until it's ready to go. And then you just go. So um, oh. Kayla's Coogee is way nicer. Yeah, she's she's rocking the. This is actually I got one the of colorful. My, that's actually one of my favorites. This one is one I just bought. And if you're watching, obviously you're watching on YouTube. That's another one that just came in. The one that's behind me. Uh, TikTok can't see it. Now TikTok can see it. That one just came in, too. So I got. I don't know how many I have now, but I got a lot. So, and somebody asked, do I sell them? I will sell them, but I sell them for the right price. So I do, I don't, I don't sell them cheap at all. So got my first scammer. Um, I know I sent him the right pair of jeans. And he sends me a picture of a different pair of jeans. It says he got the wrong pair. Just cost the business. Yeah. Um, you can try to fight that. Um, uh, Jersmo, I think your name is Jersmo. You can try to fight that, but most likely eBay is going to, eBay is going to tell you that you have to accept that return. So yeah, a rental cars always make you want a new car, 100%. 100%. We we're just sitting there, and I'm like, oh. I, I didn't even want the kids in it. I'm like, y'all, don't put your feet on the seat. No yep. food, no drinks. You're not even allowed to, t like, don't touch the it's door reason, handles. Like, this is super we, fancy. We can't get a new car, because if we do, then I know it's they're just going to get messed up. So yeah. I, I, I kind of don't want to get a new car, but, but I do. But this one has time. leather seats, so I mean, it wipes easier. Than yeah, but they're going to puncture holes in that thing, yeah. 100%. Appreciate everybody hopping in. If you're new here, hit the follow button top left hand corner. Again, if you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, make sure you hit that like. Um, we're gonna go over the thrift haul today. Um, do you have you have the receipt over there? I think we spent it's like somewhere. it was like eight something. Yeah, eight something today. Most of the stuff was pretty cheap. There was a couple items we paid up for. Appreciate the cap. Um, but we'll go over everything that we picked up today. Um, explain what we paid for it, all that good stuff. So if you're new here, hit the follow button. 
let's go ahead and get started. I don't want to keep you guys waiting too long. Mama wants to go to bed, so we got to get through this uh, pretty quick. I think this is mostly men's items in here. So first item, first item that we picked up, I can't believe there was another reseller and he passed right by this. Uh, let me flip this camera really quick. 42 more team members. Yeah, we might hit 200 by the end of tonight. First up is a Beretta, Beretta jacket. This is a really good one. We did pay up for this. I paid half of that because blue tags are half off. So I did pay 30 bucks for this. It looks to be like it's new because it does have the, appreciate the uh, heart um, joining the team. It does have this and it does have this. So I'm assuming that this is considered, this will probably be new other, but this is a shooting jacket. So our pew pew jacket, I can't say that word on TikTok, but a really, really nice jacket, super good condition, super clean. Um, like I said, it's probably going to be new. Other is how I'm going to list this, um, but only for 30 bucks. That's a really, really good steal. Really good steal. Winter? Yeah, that's going to go in the put, winter pile. I'm going to put winter on this. <clears throat> we're still making winter piles in um, uh, stuff that we'll list right now because we're going to put that stuff away. This might actually be. This I is think new. it's a mixed. Yeah, this is a mixed one. All right, we're going to swap out. We should do like, you do a bands, I do a women's. We could do that. If it's there. Uh, Appreciate all the gifters, Spanx. by the way. Spanx. This is assets by Spanx, but these are good size. Oh, by these the are way, extra large. You don't know the rule. If they send you a food I'm gift, not making, you have no, to eat it. You no. have to eat That's That's just no. what you have to do. You have to eat it. You can eat it. <laughs> all right, this is $2. Uh, these are just leggings. <laughs> assets by Spanx. I can't pass up Spanx. Yeah, Spanx Especially for good. $2. And these are like really good condition. You have to eat it. You gotta eat it. You can't just you can't just leave food on the table. We're not we're not those kind of people that just throw away our food, okay? You have to eat it. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like it has no. to be done. I think most of this is yours. I know you went through some of the cardigans. Yeah, these are so. all these are all yours, so you're good. Um appreciate the cap by the way. I guess I'll put here. I don't know. I don't know how I'm watching. It. Okay, go. <laughs> I'm not. I'm you sorry. Have to eat it. I'm not about. You to. have I'm not to. Even hungry. You have to eat it. <laughs> we gotta set. We gotta set the uh, the the hot dog gift goal. By the way. Hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. Sorry, hot YouTube. Dog. And uh, here we go. We'll, we'll do donuts first. We'll do donuts first. I'm with UK. No, you can't. You have to push her to do it. Come on. <laughs> eat. Yeah. You got just once. Just no, one time. No, because it doesn't end. Just one time. You eat it. Yeah, see, that's what Joel said. He said, just what, look, right there, do it. Quick. No, I'm not oh, eating. I don't want a donut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, TikTok. All right. Uh, YouTube and Facebook swell. are like, what's going on right yes, here? Yes, listen. You need to explain to them. All right. These are $5 athletas. They have nice little zips at the bottom. These those are, are nice. cute. Yeah. These go nice. Those are nice. I'll put a, I'll make a, I guess I'll do this. this is my bag. It, it's a mixed. Uh, yeah, I think it is. It's mostly women's. Things are getting awkward. It is right, getting a little awkward. awkward here. It's okay. When I get on the camera, just send me all the food gifts. More She's athleta no salutation. Like, shut up. <laughs> Five dollars. I liked the rib pattern here. Oh, on that's the nice. Side. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, these are nice. These aren't extra small, but because of this, I just wanted to try it and see how long an extra small will take. Yeah. And they got the phone, the stash pockets. So, five dollars. Five dollar holla. All right, these ones are yours. Do y'all have a small Kuji sweater in stock? I've been trying to find one for years now. I buy all my size, so no. I buy large and XLs. That's the only two sizes I really buy. Swap. Oh, is this all of mine? The, those few are oh, Okay. All right, this is a – this is a. I didn't have to look up comps on this because I've sold so many Brooks Brothers color-blocked items before, so I knew this was a pickup. So are you sticking up, still picking up Hickey Freeman? Only suits, uh, Peter. I don't really pick up Hickey Freeman and anything else. I actually have never picked up Hickey Freeman – for a long time. It's been a while since I picked up Peggy Freeman. Uh, by the way, YouTube and Facebook, they're sending me food gifts. I have to eat them. It's like, it's, it's a new they're thing. They're going to so. rewatch this and they're just going to watch you care. eat air. I don't care. This is a Brooks Brothers. It's a size small, but it's a color blocked sweater. So it's got different colors all the way through, all, all throughout. And it's got a nice pattern to it. And it was only 10 bucks. So this is going to go into probably the winter pile, but come winter time, even though it's a size small, because it's a color block sweater, I think this will sell for like 45 to 50. So that's the K way. We did pick up quite a few suits today too. Appreciate you joining the team, by the way. We picked up quite a few suits today. So um, suits weren't really hit. Actually, the store, we got there 10 minutes late and there really wasn't anybody there today. So it was a really good day for thrifting today. Uh, first suit, Harris Tweed, really good brand to be on the lookout for. Um, this one, I don't know the size. I didn't really look for it, 
but a really nice pattern to this one as well. What's up, Blended? Really nice pattern to this one as well. So suits, I'm a suit guy now. I've been selling suits. Um, some of the suits I've been selling for have been like almost $100 profits. And a lot of them are super cheap because thrift stores have plenty of them. And uh, people don't really look in the suit section. So I'll pick them up. I had Chris at Peak in my chat today. He was telling me to pick up all the Loren, Ralph Loren, as long as they're good. This one is a silk wool blend. So again, we only paid $4 for the suit. I'm assuming that this is around a $50 plus shipping suit. $4 into 50 plus shipping, really good profit on suits. So don't skip by your suit section. Learn suits if you haven't. I'm learning them now and I'm really liking suits. Really, really liking suits. Just curious on your opinion. Um, I do shirts and if selling, I don't get used t-shirts. Don't know how they've been washed. We buy mostly used clothing, so we don't really care how they're washed. We just make sure they're in good condition and then we list them like they are. So as long as they're in good condition, we'll pick them up. I think the rest of this is you. That's all Athleta and stuff. That's might be stuff I picked up, but you can go over it. You'll know how to go over it better than I do. Guys, listen. Today I found two barefoot dreams. One used for 30. So I was gonna pass because 30 is a bit much. So hopefully it's there next week. So remind me. And then a new with tag barefoot dreams for 30. And it was gorgeous. But Right, um, where we go and check our clothes, we go by like the natural light. Do you want to eat your food? No, I'm just I'll eat behind. He didn't you. eat dinner, so you guys have to send him dinner. Um, there's a huge yellow mark, it was a white cardigan, and there's a huge yellow stain that you couldn't see until we got to the natural light. And we tried to pretend it wasn't there, but it was definitely there, so we yeah, had to put we were, it back. We were gonna it buy that, hurt so I was bad. gonna go into the whatnot show, but yeah, once I saw the stain, I was like, you know what, it's not not worth it. Somebody else can have it. It's it's a very faint stain, so somebody who's buying for themselves in the thrift store, perfectly fine for them, but we didn't want to yeah. buy it. It's it's such a faint yellow stain, it looks like it was hanging like kind of like that Kuji sweaters hanging in the background. It was hanging for a while and it just sat there and somebody like touched it or something else else was rubbing against it and it got like a yellow stain. So that was unfortunate, but that happens. That's why you check stuff but, over at the thrift store. Yeah. But then like the used was the same price as the new tag, which kind of yeah. was weird, but maybe they saw the stain in the back too. That's probably why they maybe. priced it like that. Well, next week it'll be 15. So I will get it next. Found my first Johnny was today for a dollar. Ooh, thrifty. A dollar. Very nice. Uh, what's half a Three six? Bucks. Three. Some Janu scrubs. These were in the um, the leggings. We were going through the leggings and found some Janu scrubs. Those are good. Good brand to be on the lookout yes. for. Yes. Good um, next to figs, just like figs. Yep. This is you. Yeah, but you can explain it. Okay. Five dollars. Athleta extra small. Is this like a wool? I think it's a. I think it's like a wool blend or something. This might be bigger than an extra small. I it like looks small. That's why I was telling Chad. It's like everything extra small is like. I big. think Athleta runs big. Yeah. So, but for five bucks, you can't leave Athleta yeah. behind. So, that was nice. I like, I love Athleta. No, wait, I have the oh, winter bad. file. Oh, yeah. What else did you find? What is this? Comp the same shirt was $134.99 plus shipping. Let's go. I've sold that Athleta nice. sweater tunic. Nice. Hey, you know, when Midwest sells it, it's good stuff. Listen, Emily found us some Lulu's today by accident. She's good. It at what she worked does. out. She's good at what she does. You found a Bowdoin small. I think it has a, ca it's a cashmere fears, blend. Yeah. It's a, it's a little bit of cashmere in it, but it's not not a ton. It's six fifty. So yeah. I mean, I couldn't pass on cashmere Bowdoin. I'm gonna put this in the winter towel too. Well, this is nice. Mm -hmm. That's got a good pattern. It's older label, but this it's is a good. Older. It's a good pattern to it. So show them on five camera. bucks. Athleta. It is a large. This is the older tag. I don't know if you guys can see it with the glare, but that's the older tag. But yeah, it's got a pretty paisley. It's like a geometric like paisley a, pattern, but ooh, it's like it a really fluffy, shows good on the camera. It's like a fluffy sweater too. Very soft, like a teddy. By the way, if you all see anything you like in this live, um, I'll sell it to you at a discount, obviously. Um, so feel free to let us know. Um, just hit me up on Instagram. If you're on Facebook, you can hit me up on Facebook. I always answer answer Instagram first though, so um, Instagram is the way to go. This is this cat? Uh, it, no, it's a wool, wool? I believe. Another Athleta, medium Athleta for five bucks. This has two colors, blue and black turtleneck sweater. Yep. Very nice. Yep, I thought it was good. And last week, the Athletas were expensive. This week, they were cheap. But the week yep. before that, they were, it's like they take turns. This is what wool. Yeah, that might be actually a men's. I don't know if that's a men's or a women's. I have to figure that out. A Pendleton for $7.50. It's 100% wool. 
I wonder if this is a men's or women's. Looks like a men's to me. What size was that purple one? I think it was a large. I think, I think it was large. He's going to check. This is nice. Yeah, it's a large. It's a large. It's a large. Next bag. Next bag. I think this is... Let's see what this is. I think this is mostly men's. We'll Next. swap out. That was a... Uh, yeah. Eat what? We eat uh, my thoughts. Anytime somebody sends me a... Uh, a food gift over on TikTok. I have to eat it. It's just like a, it's a new rule. So, um, I think I saw you pass on an etro last time. I think it's big money. I think we picked up the etro this time. Actually, I think that we left the etro behind because it was uh, it had some stains on it. We went over it. What's your opinion on vintage Jordachi? I don't pick up that brand. Maybe I'm passing on it and I should be picking it up, but I don't have any opinions on that, unfortunately. How quickly do you expect suits to sell? Depends on the suit, but when I'm paying four dollars, Guy Slater, good question. Here, I'll, I'll put you up. I should be doing this more often. Um, good question. I don't expect suits to sell really fast, but when I'm paying $4 for something, it's going to sell for 50. If it takes three months to sell, that's good profit for me. And I just throw it in the closet. So super easy. Sorry. I missed all the gifts over here. My bad. Coogee's on parade. Yep. Um, what brand was a white sweater with the yellow stain? It was a barefoot dreams. Yeah. Blue with tags, which really just stinks because I was going to get that. All right. If you guys have watched my live thrifts, you know, I've passed up this Woolrich like five times because they had it priced at 79.99 full price. Um, they actually just marked it down to 34.99 and it's half off. Every time the store does markdowns, they automatically mark them down at the half off price, which I think is pretty weird. But this is a full length Woolrich um, trench coat. Really nice full button down and it's 100% wool. So I was going to pick it up at that $40 price, but I decided to pass. I'm glad I did because I got it for 17.50. It's going to go into the winter pile. What I expect to sell this for during winter time, probably close to a hundred bucks. Uh, but again, I'm gonna hold on that. So what's with the Cosby sweaters? This is what we, I collect them. I collect them. Um, next up, what is this? Oh, this is Ted Baker. Good suit brand to be on the lookout for Ted Baker. I've sold one of these already for close to a hundred. Um, this one was only five doll hairs and it's got a nice paisley pattern on the inside. Just a nice suit in general. So. Ted Baker Endurance, be on the lookout for these. They sell pretty well. What's up, Barry? Next up, we have a $7.50 pair of Peter Millar wicking golf shorts. These we are going to list ASAP because they will sell within a week. They are a good brand to list this time of year. Snaps clapping. Snaps clapping. All right, I paid up for this one. Did pay $15, but this is a North Face men's Denali jacket. These are like $45 bills this time of year. If I hold them till winter time, I can sell these for 60. So I don't mind paying $15 for a North Face that I'm going to sell super quick for 60. It's going to sell super, super fast. Found those today too. Nice. Here's another brand I normally pass on, but this was only three bucks. It's a pair of Southern Tide um, shorts. These will sell really fast. This might be a surf's up method kind of item. I'll probably list it for $14.99 plus shipping and it'll sell super fast. So there's the logo you're looking for. It's a little, little Southern Tide. These used to sell for more. They kind of fell off because now they're in TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Uh, whenever a brand makes it there, it normally falls off a little bit. So, uh, Michael Gold Hoodie, great bowl brand. Okay, I'll be on the lookout for that one. What size is the Men's North Face? Men's North Face. Do you know what size it is? I think it's a. I think it's a medium or a large. Medium. It's a medium. It's a medium. That one, if you want it, it can go for 45. Let it go for 45. Otherwise, I'm going to hold it. Um, another North Face that I did pay full price for. This is a North Face. This one is also, this one's a size small. We paid 20 bucks for it, but it's a full length North Face jacket. Really nice. I, I thought it's a high vent. I thought it was Gore-Tex. It doesn't have any Gore-Tex in it, but still during the season when these are selling, this is like 60 to 80 bucks is what I should expect to sell this for. Probably on the $60 end because it's a size small, so it's not going to move as well. So I brought brand new Tommy Bahama today for $5.99. Let's go. Uh, what's up, Missy? Welcome in. Next up, another brand I love selling. Some people pass on this brand. I don't know why, because it sells so well for me. I did pay $10 for it, but these are Mavi jeans. The um, style is called Marcus. 
just a nice pair of Mavi blue jeans. I believe these are a good size too. They're 33, which is kind of an oddball size. Um, so these normally sell for around, I list these for $37.99 free shipping and they normally sell within two weeks. So I don't mind paying up for something that's going to sell quick. Appreciate everybody dropping into on TikTok. If you're on YouTube, Facebook, make sure you're hitting that like button. Um, follow if you're not following already or subscribe. If you're on TikTok, make sure you hit that follow button top left-hand corner. If you're not joining the team yet, make sure you join the team too. It costs you one penny to join the team, just like um, Cheryl just did right now. For one penny, she just joined the team. We're trying to get to 200 now. I'm going to keep increasing the goal until we get to a million. Once we get to a million, I'll stop stop begging. Just kidding. Next up, L.L. Bean. This is an L.L. Bean men's medium. Again, this is a winter item. But right now, my stores are pricing these down because they're not moving. So three bucks for an L.L. Bean flannel that I'll list winter time and I'll sell these for anywhere between 30 to $35. So this is going to the winter pile. Also be on the lookout for the double breast pockets. Those tend to do a little bit more or sell for a little bit more. So that's a winter pile item. I'm not going to list that right away. And my first sale on eBay yesterday wasn't as complicated as what as I was expecting. Awesome. What'd you sell, uh, Ben? Appreciate all the gifts, by the way, too. Thank you all for the gifties. Next up, these are women's made well. The way I can tell they're women's it's because the women's styles always have that little tag right there on the inside. It is a pretty big size. These are 35P, but bigger sizes do sell. So we don't mind picking up bigger sizes. And this, these were only $7.50. These have actually been sitting at the store for like three weeks um, because it's a white tag. So it's kind of weird. But uh, good condition, um, bigger size. I should probably sell these for around 30 to 35 bucks. So what size was that men's Pendleton? The white men's Pendleton? It's the one in the middle of the stack. That cream colored one. Know. Yeah. I, I don't know if it's a men's or a women's. I'll, I'll give you pit to pit measurements, but I'm assuming that's men's because normally women's has a different color on it. It's so medium. I'm screaming over all the sweaters. We got a ton. It's a medium. Mm-hmm. Medium. Appreciate you uh, joining the team. Next up, Polo Ralph Lauren Corduroys. This is something I do pick up year round. I love picking up corduroys. They sell really well. Um, these are in excellent condition. I can't find the size right now. It's on the inside, a little tag. But corduroys. Pick these up. These I list for $39.99 free shipping, and we paid a whopping $5 for these. So pick up your cords. Brooks Brothers, Polo Ralph Lauren cords. Pick them up all the time. Somebody said, hey, Wayne. Oh, Chris, Chris, you, you misspelled Kayla's name. I'll let you slide. He said, hello, hey, Wayne and Carla. Who's, Car- Who's Carla? I don't know Carla. <laughs> Chris, you just got me in trouble. I don't know Carla. Never heard of her. Uh, Brooks Brothers, another pair of corduroys, a little bit of a weirder color. So I'm probably going to price these for $35.99. But uh, we paid five bucks. It's a nice color. It's but like it's a kinda, gray. It's like a grayish blue. Gray blue. It's like a slate. Slate blue, yeah. I don't know a Carla. Appreciate the lightning bolt. Um, what size women's jeans do you normally pick up? Bigger sizes sell better. Um, I normally try to stay away from 26 and lower because they tend not to move as well for us unless they're a really good brand. 27 and larger, like the best sizes. The bigger you get, the better they sell. By the way, um, if you guys watched the... No, you're good, Chris. I'm just messing with you. Um, if you saw the live... Why didn't I look these up? Oops. I don't know if I paid up for these. Maybe you guys can tell me. I forgot to. Com- I completely forgot to look these up. Um, if you saw the live today, you saw that I picked up... Appreciate you joining the team. So uh, You saw I picked up the Viore sweater. I actually gave that to Ethan because Ethan's been wearing Viore, so he wanted it. I was like, Ethan, you can have it. He saw it in my cart, and he was like, Ooh, that's a Viore. And I was like, you can have it. That's all you, buddy. Um, so I did pay 25 for these. I don't know if I might have paid up for these. I forgot, completely forgot to look them up. And I looked through them in the cart. Steo men's pants. Um, people were saying these were really good, had a good sell through rate. I don't know if I paid too much for these. I might have. Um, that might not be a good buy. I kind of just threw them in the cart. So we had a bunch of people talking to us at the end of the live. By the way, if um, you're in the live, what was her name again? Always on vacation, I think your name was. Appreciate you stopping by, saying hello. Um, and who's um, who's the other? Um, lady who always stops talks to us. What's her name? The one that was talking to us with her husband. The one that was at the end. I know it's a, a we're we, horrible. We love people. you. Yeah, we we forget names. I was a mailman. I forget names all the time. But uh, did you look this one up too? Here, I'll let you show this one. Well, appreciate you guys. For me. Appreciate you guys uh, stopping us. Whenever you see us out in the thrift, feel 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 free to come up to us. We're not celebrities. We'll talk to you guys. I forgot to eat the donuts. So I had eaten. I was talking. I was looking up the skirt and Ethan looked this up for me and I cannot remember for the life of me what the comps were. They were good enough for me to pick it up. Somebody in chat will probably be able to tell you. Peruvian, Peruvian connection. It's weird. It does show. Peruvian connection. Pima cotton. This is a large slash XL. This is a cardigan. Actually. 
Yep. No. Poncho? No. It's like a poncho looking thing? I don't know what the hell to call that thing. I don't know, but we paid 17 and this is the old tag. Yeah. So this has been there for a little bit. What did he... Oh, I can't remember what the comps were, but I grabbed it. We yeah. threw it in the It's car. a wrap. Wrap. It's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. I did get a skirt somewhere around here, and I was looking at that one. I don't know where you were. I, I was uh, dropping off all the stuff that we passed on. We did pass on quite a bit today, like a whole cart full of stuff. We yeah. basically put back because it had stains on it or the sell-through wasn't good, so we just passed on it. So, Another pair of cords. This is another pair of Brooks Brothers corduroys, five bucks. These are a little bit better of a colorway than the last. Just a solid navy blue pair of cords. So again, I list these. If they're like this, I'll list them for $39.99 free shipping. Scroll up to see comps on steel pants. Um, comps 35 all the way up to 70. Yeah, I probably paid too much. I paid 25 for those. So if they only sell for 50, that's too much to pay for those. But I forgot to look them up. Here's a good brand. Um, I did pay up for this one. Paid up for this one. This is um, Flint and Tinder. Flint and Tinder, good brand to be on the lookout for. $17.50. Um, I think these go for around $50, if I remember correctly. Didn't really have to look up this one because I know it's a good brand. Um, good, good brand to resell. Somebody already asked about somebody asked about two a North Face sweater today. Whoever you are, hit me up and let me know which one you're interested in because I don't know which one you want. Because there's there's a couple that are gray. So this is a gray fluffy one. We paid 20 bucks mm -hmm. for it. I don't mind paying 20 bucks for these fluffy ones because they're really, really nice. The teddies. They're really nice. So these go in winter season. These go for like 50 to 60. This time of year, these are like 45-ish sweaters. So yeah, I'll pick them up for 20 all the time. All day long. We picked up quite a few North Faces. So I didn't realize you were eating gifts. thought you were barking like a dog. No, I, I'm, I'm eating gifts. Thank you, Snap. That's why I wasn't doing <laughs> Four dollars. This is a wool rich. This is a hundred percent wool forge. What size is that um, sweater? I think it's a medium. Hundred percent wool, wool rich sweater. Pick these up at their hundred percent wool. This is women's. Women's medium. It's a women's medium. Women's medium. I thought it was a men's. So it's a women's medium. Yeah, donuts. You got to eat the donuts. You got to eat the hot dogs. Got to stay. I haven't eaten dinner yet, so I'm hungry. I'm kind of hungry too. Next up, we did pay up full price for this as well. Are you marking these by the way? You have a hand of me any green ones. Oh, I did. I thought that, that North Face was green for sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, North Face, this is a men's oh. size XL. I did pay up for it, but they're convertible. So anytime you find convertible pants, they're normally always a pickup um, right there. You can see they zip off. So they can be shorts or they can be full length pants. So anytime you find these, they're good. They sell for around $50 and they normally sell year round. So Yori's amazing. So comfortable. Rivals Lulu. That's what Ethan said. Elliot. Um, so he's been, he had a pair of Viore shorts on and he saw that I had the sweater and he was like, Ooh, and I was like, if you want it, you can have it. So I gave it to him. He got it for, I think it was like 15 bucks. Mm -hmm. So he got a Viore sweater for 15. I probably could have sold that for like 50 to 70, but Ethan wants it. Ethan's a cool dude. We love Ethan. So he can have it for that price. Next up. Um, I can't eat a speaker. Next up is a Nat Nast, Nat Nasty, six bucks. This is a silk Nat Nast. This should sell super fast. Last few Nat Nasts I've listed have sold within less than a week for 35 bucks. So that's what I expect this one to sell for right around 35 doll hairs. That one's green. 35 doll hairs. Love how you both are um, sporting, sporting your favorite sweater. Yeah, I just got this one in today. I bought this one and the one behind me on uh, Mercari. And I got them for a steal. Bought them both from the same guy and I bundled them. The new feature on Mercari. If you guys didn't know, you can bundle stuff on Mercari now. Next up, um, this is a 100% linen Tommy Bahama. If you guys saw today, I picked up like four or five Tommy Bahamas, but unfortunately, most of them have stains in them. So I made sure I checked over the ones again, make sure they didn't have stains, but I had to put like three or four of them back. So kind of kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. There was a whole bunch. So I don't feel really bad about missing them because now I'm pretty sure that most of them that I missed probably had stains on them as well. Another Tommy Bahama. This one's 100% silk, a little bit better of a floral pattern. This is like 35 to $40 all day long. My linen one has been sitting for a while. Linen sells actually faster than silk for us. So how many Kujis do you have now? I think I have like 12. So auto posture able to get back on auto posture. eBay function is on. I did um, send her a message today. If you do your relist at a discounted price, it is relisting at whole numbers. So she's going to fix that within the next day should be up and running. And then 
will unleash the floodgates. I'll tell you, I'll start talking about auto posture again. That's why I haven't talked about it. Cause there's a couple little fixes that she has to adjust and she had to wait for eBay. So Polo Ralph Lauren, this one has 42% cash. It's a full price, $10. Got it on a new rack, but this one is 42% cash. So anytime you find cash, anything, it's normally a pickup. That one, actually, we're going to list that one because that one will probably still sell this time of year. Oh, got the roses. You just bark at the screen. No, I'm eating <laughs> gifts. So on TikTok, they're sending me food and I have to eat them. Oh. Have to eat them. Next up, Affliction. This is the black premium. Anytime you see that black premium label, you know it's Affliction. Right above it, it says Affliction. Um, this one was $20, but it was half off. So it was only 10 bucks and it's got a really nice pattern to it on the back. I just, this should sell for 35 to 45 and it should sell pretty quick, especially since it's a nice flannel. It's lightweight too. So it'll sell this time of year. My bad. YouTube and Facebook are like, what the hell? This is what we do on TikTok, by the way. If you guys aren't on TikTok, this is what happens on TikTok. Um, I guess I'll go over this because I found this. This is a women's XL North Face, five bucks. How can you pass up North Face, any North Face for $5? Just a nice... Soft shell, pullover, North Face, really lightweight. Again, we'll hold this till winter time. We'll list it winter time. Paid up for this one, Robbie G. Um, we paid 30 bucks for it, uh, 59.99 half off. Nice pattern, super, super nice, Robbie G. Oh, I ate the heart, my bad. It's um, a first gift. It's a, I ate your first gift, it's in my belly now. No, a nice flip cuff on this one too. Um, this all day, I should be able to list this for around $69.99. That's what I expect this to sell for, like right around 70, maybe 80 bucks. It is a 3XL, so 80 bucks. 80 bucks is what I expect to sell that one for. It's super nice. Super nice. Muffled dog bark, yeah. Also, when it relists, all the promos go away. Yes. So if you have, if you do promoted, if you do promoted listings on eBay, set up your automated promoted listings. I have all my listings promoted at 3%. You can do different categories. You can set up different promotions for your promoted listings. But yes, if you do different numbers per listing and when it relists, it's going to cancel out those. It's the same way, Elliot, if you did your own relist, you did a D-list and a sell similar. I don't believe it keeps your um, promotions. You still have to fill that part out again. So it's also creating a brand new listing. It's not even doing a D-list and a sell similar. It's doing a D-list and a brand new listing. So that's why I can't, can't do that. So um tells matching uh pjs all you went out in the kooji style this isn't these aren't pjs these are kooji's she said to hell with those oh to hell with those okay hell with the oh to hell with those matching pj oh i got you okay that was a compliment i thought you were talking about like don't wear those matching kooji's what are you talking about um this is 1750 another north face or 750 men's north face pick these up all year round we'll list them around winter time we're literally gonna probably have like 100 to 200 North Face jackets to list when it comes winter time because we just have so much. Hey, let's switch I know. I'm trying to find my men's stuff in here before we switch. Next up, 100% silk, Thomas Bahamas. Nice pattern to this one. Not really going to get too deep into this. Uh, 35 to 40 bucks is probably what that's going to sell for. That might actually be on Whatnot. We might throw a couple of those on Whatnot this week. We do have a Whatnot show. We haven't scheduled it yet, but it will be this Saturday. Lacoste, 650. Lacoste shirt, nice long sleeve. Lacoste shirt. I think this is another one. You promote everything? Yes, everything's promoted at 3%. Another Lacoste shirt, long sleeve. Um, this one was, I think, cheaper. Nope, $7.50 for this one. It's a little bit more expensive. So, um, Where do you store your winter items? So we have a storage unit now. Um, we were getting kind of overloaded, so we just went out and bought a storage unit. It's a business expense, um, so we store everything in there. And then in September... August, we're probably going to start pulling the stuff and we'll start listing it in September. And then we might do some whatnot shows with a lot. We might have enough to where we can literally do a curated North Face whatnot show, like all North Face jackets. Actually, we pro we're we definitely going to do that. Probably like two weeks. 650. Shows yeah, we'll like probably have at least two curated, just straight North Face items, just like really good North Face stuff. Because that's how, many, how much like North Face stuff we have. It's pretty crazy. Who has a pen? She has a pen. But most of this stuff is half off. $17.50. I paid up for these. Be on the lookout for that letter right there. P. That right there is a really good brand to be on the lookout for. That's the brand right there. The brand is Public Rec. Public Rec, really good pair of um, pants to look out for. We were just talking about this last night on my TikTok Live. I said how I've never found a pair of Public Rec pants, and then the next day I find a pair of Public Rec pants. So 
Um, resale value, I'm not really sure on these. I think they used to be like 80 bucks. Maybe they came down a little bit, but still really good brand. They should sell really fast as well. So public rec, be on the lookout for that. How much, how much do Kuji's normally go for? It depends on the pattern. So the ones behind me, those that one right there has fish all over it. So that's a little bit more, um, more money. This one is a linen blend. So it has linen and cotton. That one in there is 100% cotton. So that one's probably, it's probably about the same as this one because it's a good color on that one. Just depends on the color, the pattern, all that good stuff. That's how you figure out what a Kuji is going to sell for. Blue North Face. Size on those? Size. Is... Size size on the North Face. Or are you talking about the public record? This is a women's medium. This blue one. Women's medium for the blue North Face. The public rec pants, is that what you're asking for the size on? When you when you guys ask for size, since we're going pretty fast, just say like size 32. on North Face. You guys, you did it right. So the public rec pants is a 32, 30, 32. 32 for the public rec. If you guys see anything you like, make sure you hit me up on Instagram. Um, I can't talk numbers while we're on the live. I'll talk numbers on Instagram. I'll give you guys a great deal. I normally always do. So Mavi jeans, I actually always do. Mavi jeans, these are a pair of blue Mavi jeans. Again, $37.99 is what these are going to sell for. How long did it take you all to become um, versed in brands to sell? It took me um, probably, it probably took me about a solid year to get really comfortable to where I could go into a thrift store and just through the racks. But I also watch tons of free content on YouTube. So, um, yeah, it took me about probably about a year to get really, really um, dirty thrifts is over on My YouTube. My wife. Wifey's on YouTube. She's here. Wifey's on YouTube. Um, Barber. Well, your wife, not mine. I already have one of those. I can't have two. Barber. This is a barber jacket, 100% wool uh, barber jacket. Um, again, this is going to go into the um, list later pile. It has a little fluff on the front. List later pile. This is probably like 50 bucks during the winter season. If we list it right now, it's probably only going to go for 35. Um, how long did it take y'all? Oh, I already answered that. So, I'm still learning the women's Some... brands. I've only been doing that for three months. So This is your last item? I would say I'm well versed, but I find decent stuff. There. For only doing it three months, I find some good stuff. For the most part. Here's the skirt, the Peruvian Connection skirt. It is a size small, but it's got like a stretch waistband. So I think the comps, oh, what were the comps? I'm sorry, guys. I'm so bad. I think they were like 35, 40. They were good enough to pick up. Yes. Appreciate you I'm joining bad. the team, Southern Resell. My husband has to, has to watch YouTube with me, yard sales and thrifts. There you go. That's the best way to learn free content on YouTube, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. All those sites have really good free content. I think most of this is women's items for you. So you're on deck. Ooh. I'm actually going to grab a drink. Really? Quick. really? Do this. I forgot my drink. Yay, my turn. Eileen Fisher, this is a size large. We paid $7.50, but she is, I believe this one's linen. Yes, this is a linen blend. Eileen Fisher, super lightweight cardigan. I love picking up cardigans year round. I mean, you can wear these anywhere, offices. Date night, movies, theaters. I wear mine all the time in the house. It's cardigans for the win. Let's see. Is this me or you? A woman's medium, another North Face, just basic fleece. Yep. This almost looks cropped. How much was it? Is this cropped? It's only four bucks. No, this is medium. No, it's not. Yeah, it's only four bucks. Oh. Yeah, four bucks. No, I was thinking if it was cropped. Insane. North Face for four bucks. Like, four dollars. Four dollar holler. You didn't eat the ice cream cone. You have to eat at least one gift. Oh, my God. Everybody's saying hi to you, by the way. Hi, guys. He's trying to get me to eat. I'm not hungry. Okay. You know what I'm hungry for? We have pub subs in the have... fridge right now. Oh, yeah. Buffalo chicken tender pub subs because they're on sale right now. By the way, that's what I'm hungry for. Mm -hmm. Athleta medium. These are shorts. They almost look like inside out, but they're not. That's like the style is like this flap. I think you said you want to keep those, right? There's a few of these that I grabbed. <laughs> you guys already know how this is going to work out. I may or may not She's going to wear them for, they were $4. She'll probably wear them for a couple months and then we'll sell them. So we'll make yeah, them. Yeah, I'm getting rid of my aloe leggings. Who this wears week short shorts? For what Man, not? these are short. I thought my Lulus were short. These things are massive. Well, these short. are like the workout. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, Jeez. Like the Under Armour type and then the thing. These are short. <laughs> Um, do you sell those colorful sweaters? We we if you want a colorful sweater, you can buy it off me, but it's gonna be really expensive. I'll just tell you that. Okay. 
So I recognize this brand only because I am disappointed that you guys in chat didn't know what this brand was. I don't was. think anybody in chat knew this brand, but I recognized let me see if I can get it for you. He hasn't picked it up in a while. Mm -hmm. But I knew highly disappointed. This mammoth. This is a mammoth. Well, let me just show. This will show you better. A mammoth sweater. It is an extra small. No, yes. It is an extra small. Yep. But mammoth is really good. So when she showed it to me, I thought it was a marmot sweater. Yeah. I actually misread it, and I was about to put it back, and I was like, wait, that's mammoth. And it was 12 bucks, which is fine. I sold a mammoth sweater in a men's colorway. It was a solid red. It's a little bit thicker than this, and it sold for $79.99, and it sold within a week. Um, I think I made a video on that. So you can go back on TikTok and watch. I don't think it's on Facebook or um, YouTube, but it's on TikTok. So this, I think, is probably at least a $40 sweater. Um, we did pay twelve fifty dollars for it, but it'll sell super fast and it's lightweight. Uh, we'll probably list it ASAP too. Man, it, what is a pub sub? Public sub. Public sub. Chicken tender subs. Buffalo style. A large women's North Face hoodie. Look at it that. It says the nice embroidery. Logo. This is like fuzzy. Yeah, show it to them close on camera so they know. What What's up, Jen? You can see the fuzz. Hey, Jen. Yeah, eat the hot dog. Quick. I don't eat it. I want to eat the food. Oh, my gosh. Public sucks. What? That's what. Look at this. Tokyo. Listen. He also thinks Mercari No, sucks. wait. Publix in general or like, maybe he put the X, he meant to put sub, like a B. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, That's we'll what there. he meant. But yeah, look at that fluffy. Look at that fluffiness on that North Face. It's pretty cool. I, li I like this one. It was four bucks. Like I lost this one right away too. Faux Dallas. Spinx jeans. I was actually going to, I was debating on these because they were 10 bucks, but. <laughs> Mercari owns Publix. <laughs> <laughs> no, I forgot what I was saying. I can't remember anything. You didn't look up comps or something like that? I nice? told you I was going to put them back, and, um, but jeans are like 40 bucks. Yep. From what I've, I, we, I don't know what our last pair of jeans sold for. To be honest with you, I'm not gonna lie. Just sold a uh, pair of spandex jeans for fifty bucks. Nice. Ooh. These are a women's size six. They have this, so I don't know. Yeah, that that means they're new probably other. new other, yeah, because that's where they hang the original tag from. Women's North Face pants for seven dollars and fifty cents. Yep. Easy money. What else do we? This is my whole bag. Nope, this one's yours. Ooh. <gasps> I like this one. Uh-oh. No, no, no. I'm not going to do that. Uh-oh. This is a North Face medium for six fifty, dollars but I love the front. Come on now. It's a nice one. That's nice. Big hit. That is super. And it's a kangaroo pouch. Yep. This one's nice. It's up elite. This one is nice. All right, what's that one later? Yes. All right, seven fifty. We got a Bowden dress, size six. It's got pockets, pockets for the win. Coogee king and queen. Do you want this to list right away, or yeah, I'll list it. Ooh, no, this one must have been you. Probably was. You this is nice. This is a large <laughs> women's North Face teddy sweater. This is. This is one of those fuzzy ones, but it's nice gray. There's the back hit North Face. Yeah, we paid up for that though. We paid full price for it, but it's a yeah, thirteen a full teddy sweater. It's like super. It's not a Denali where it's like half teddy, half soft That's shell. That's the one I want. Angel with a bow. Did you? Okay. I yeah. think. Yeah, I think you hit me up. I didn't hit you back up yet because I didn't know which one you wanted. I was going to show it on live. This so one. if this one is the one you want, um, we did pay up for it. We paid thirteen. I'd let it go for forty five. Because if I'm going to hold on to this, it's going in the hold on pile. This will be like 60 to 70 bucks come winter season. So if you want it, it'll be 45 shipped. Just hit me up on uh, Instagram and let me know if you want it. Claim it. If not, it'll go into the. She said yes. Yes, okay. it is happening. Hit me up on uh, IG. Another women's North Face medium. This one is $650. It's one of the another Denali jacket. That's a better price. $650 for yeah. that one. Got the hit on the back. The raccoons are probably for Guardians. I think that, Guardians. I just literally came out. think we got ten North Face jackets today. That's like we have. I have. Insane. I found a few more in that other bag too. That's insane. These are some of the ones you found. What is this? What are you? This one's been a Stephen find. Athleta Small. We paid six fifty. Well, this is a nice one. It's a nice pullover hoodie. Put a jacket, oh, sweater. 
It's I'm getting, lightweight too. I'm getting all your messages too. I'll ch I'll check I all like the messages the after the live, and I'll uh, I'll send you guys all the prices on the stuff after the live. What is it from? What is? No, that was Athleta. Athleta. Okay. I I really liked this Athleta top. This is a large Athleta top. It was four bucks. Very lightweight, and I like the back. This I was thinking of. Um, maybe whatnot. Why am I like North confused? Face too nice. What is this? Oh, it twists. Oh. That's the thing. I was super confused there for a second. That's anyway. a good question for you in the chat right there. That what? question, what's the max? Did you get any Lululemon? Um, we did. No, the question about that. No, okay. What's the max you would pay for Athleta? Uh, probably like seven or eight bucks. Yeah, it depends on the Athleta. Depends on the style, because sometimes we've paid 10, but they were like, uh, no, last week we paid 20 for a new with Tag Athleta, but they were the Rainer joggers, joggers and they go for like 60, 70. Yeah. So it just depends on if it's like a newer style, the pattern. There um, I, was, I was hoping you were going to answer that right. You answered it correctly. Yeah, everything everything is dependent on style. It's dependent on what yeah. piece of Athleta. So like, for example, we're wearing Kuji sweaters right now. If you tell me what would you pay for a Kuji, it depends. A Kuji sweater, I'll pay over $100 for a pair of Kuji jeans, I might only pay a couple bucks for. Really depends on the style. It depends if it's new with tags. It depends on what the material is. There's a lot of stuff. It depends on what size it is. Sometimes extra smalls will pass on, but larges yeah. we might pay a little bit more for because they'll sell quicker for us. So it really depends on all that stuff you have to factor in your item while you're paying for it. And that's stuff you can look at sell-through rate. Um, you can look up, you can really niche down on sell-through rate. You can look up the style. You can look up the size. You can look up what the item is made out of. Put all that into your search bar and then filter for used and sold. And your sell-through rate might actually increase significantly based on all those factors. So make sure you're always looking up everything, not just the brand. The brand doesn't matter. Brand matters on everything on the on the item you're looking at. Yeah, I always put the size of what I'm looking up the size because sizes make a difference. I do try to avoid the extra small. Like we did pick up an extra small, but it had that like cool ribbed side. So I wanted to try it. Yep. North Face Women's Medium. We paid five bucks. This is nice. This is like a yep. lightweight. Five dollars for North Face. Like, come on. Zip pullover sweater. And yes, it's not going to sell well this time of year. So that's why the North. The, we live in Florida. If you guys didn't know, yeah. those of you just joining, this stuff is not going to sell to Floridians. Nobody's going to buy these. Like if they do, they're going to throw them in their closet and wait till winter season. So these are sitting and they're lowering the price on these. So we're going to pick them up and then we're going to hold them till winter season and then list them and we'll make even more money come winter season. So. Always pick up North Face if you can find it. Just store it away if you have to. Here's for the Lulu question. Lulu's. Lulu. We did pay because our store knows Lulu. These were the ones ones that I paid $12.50 for. Um, these are probably going to be on whatnot, but I loved the pattern. And it has like a nice side zip. And it's a side size. I can't speak. Size six. So oh, it's a good size. size. I'm a size eight. Lulu. Oh. Lulu, I've learned, runs a little small. That's just something I've... For me. Yep. These are nice capris. <clears throat> Cropped capri, Lulu's. That's why I didn't mind paying oh, up for those. Yep. Here's uh, Athleta. These are a medium. Again, it was a medium, so it's a good size, and it has a nice pattern. And they're, they're in good condition. I checked everything, so I like picking these up. And these were only five bucks, so. Five dollars. Five dollars. Five dollar holler. <laughs> um, do you not sell Kuji? I looked up. I looked to buy one. I love them. Maybe I looked up the wrong Those on your site. I we don't have these listed. No, I don't have any of these listed. I collect these, so these are these are not listed at all. Is this women's? This is you. Um, I think I, it is a women's. Yeah, it's a women's, but it's cheap. You sure? This, yeah, this was you first. Yeah, that's definitely a women's because this is remember. a marmot. Marmot, not mammoth. We found mammoth and marmot, and we paid five dollars. Well, this is a nice sweater. Yep. I can't believe the price on this. I don't even know if they looked at the brand. Wow. They, they just priced this according to the style at like thrift stores. Because normally mar um, Marmot, they price up. But this store, they must have missed it. That's another item we'll hold till winter season, though. More Athleta. This is a good size. It's a 10 $5. These are nice pants. They have like a moto look going on here. Look, you have look. to answer this. You can never let that go. Hi, Amy. There you go. I'm so. I... <laughs> can't, you can't miss Amy's comment. I always see Amy's comment. Amy, you really do have a talent for every time you hop on. <laughs> we all see it. What's up, Amy? 
So, Athleta. Athleta. There were a lot of Athletas today. I did pass on a bunch, too. Oh, is that it? That's it for this bag. Last bag? Um, no, I think we need this one and this one, right? Oh, there's two bags. Yep. I think this one is it's mostly suits and stuff, so this one I can go through pretty quick. Okay. I'm back on cam. Are Kuji sweaters a looser fit? Yeah, they, they do feel like this is a large and the fit's a little, it's a little bit of a baggy fit. So stop stealing from the poor and from the people that are cold. Exactly. All the cold people in Florida, we're stealing all the sweaters from them. We're not leaving anything behind. Screw those poor people. I have a pair of mammoth pants and I can't get any movement on gray hall so far. I think the sweaters for mammoth sell better than the pants. So sweaters sweaters i'll answer some of these questions too we got a whole bunch of people um are north face pants worth it also yes we do pick up north face pants again depends on the style convertible pants sell a lot better than any other pants so uh such a, a great time to grab great winter stuff yes again this is the time of year to pick up winter stuff buy it now and hold it 100 percent um do you have any 2x qg sweaters i only buy my size I only have uh, large and xls um when starting out do you ever give um your your listings a time limit no, but I'm using auto posture now and auto posture every, um, every month D lists and then relist my items at a 10% off price. So I'm using auto posture to kind of start moving inventory. That's been stale. So no, we want Kayla too damn bad, too damn bad. <laughs> um, certain styles run, um, small lines run regular. That's what uh, Midwest said. So yes, yep. visit Neiman Marcus today, research, pick, um, Picked abandoned house um, yesterday. Nice. You have to let us know how that goes. Hopefully, you put some uh, put some videos up about that. That bando, the bando. Everlane, you guys, you ladies, I should say, told me to pick this up. Six fifty is what I paid for this. Um, it's like a fuzzy, fuzzy sweater. Really nice, fuzzy sweater. Um, Six fifty. Again, this is probably going to go on the list later pile. But from what you all told me, it should go for around thirty five. So it's Kooji night. Would you pick up Columbia convertible pants under five bucks? Maybe I'd have to look up size and look up sell through rate on those because I haven't picked up Columbia in a long time. But um, yeah, it really depends. Really, really depends. Um, this is a Ralph Lauren suit. Ralph Lauren suit. I think this has some um, silk in it. Yeah, it's 52, 50%. Hold on. What did I just read? It's a 52% silk, 48% wool Ralph Lauren suit. Anything with silk and suits normally is pretty good. And we only paid 10 bucks for this. So I think... This should go for around 50. Uh, we're going to try it out. I'm still learning suit. So if it doesn't, don't trust me on what I say right now. It could be completely wrong. Um, this one right here, this is a new brand. Chris told me to pick this up. Um, it looked really nice and it feels really nice. This is a William and Williams and Kent suit. Um, we only paid $3 for it. Uh, I don't know what the, what I can get for this. So I'll let you guys know as soon as it sells, I have to look up sell through rate and comps and all that stuff. But for three bucks, it's worth the gamble. And Chris told me to pick it up. So still a pair for 20 paid $2 sold in two days. Um, only the convertible. Okay. There you go. So Jen, Jen has an answer for that. She sold them in two days, 20 bucks paid two. So you got to keep your cost of goods low, sell them quickly, sell them at a lower price. So, uh, mayor bear in the house. How are you guys doing? We're doing awesome. How are you doing mayor bear? Hopefully you're doing well. Another day, another dollar, another thrift haul, another, Loren, Ralph Loren suit. I believe this is a 100% wool one, but it was a bigger size. So Chris told me to grab this one. He said, I think he sells his for $48 plus shipping is what he told me. All this and all that. What's up? We got a lot of suits today. There really wasn't any competition. I'm happy because we were 10 minutes late. So um, we, we're, we're happy about that. This 42R, another Loren, Ralph Loren suit. This one is 100% cotton, but it's a corduroy suit. Again, Chris said, don't pass on corduroy suits. They sell really well for him. So appreciate you uh, joining the team, Mayor Bear. I think you're already part of the team. You just, you're just completing your daily quests. I like it. Next up, I think this is another Loren, Ralph Loren. Oh, this is a Chaps. So Chris told me to pick up Chaps. I'll see how this sells. Um, I trust Chris on his opinion. This is a 48L, and it's also a corduroy. Appreciate you joining the team as well, too. It's a corduroy, just a corduroy suit. It's got a nice liner on the inside. We'll see how this goes. By the way, the Loren Ralph Loren had elbow patches on it too, which is a bonus. It's a bonus. I got 165 members on the team. Let's go. We're going to get to 200. That's our next goal. LL Bean Guide Series Mountain Guide. Um, this is a men's large tall. I left it last week because it was full price, and now it was $7.50. It's like a full-length coat. 
So good pickup. I think come winter season, I should be able to sell this for around 40 to 50. So 750 and 40 and 50, and I'll charge shipping on something like this. Appreciate you joining the team. I'll charge shipping on something like that. That's one of the items I do charge shipping. Um, do you guys have an issue with eBay buyers making offers, you accepting and non-payment? It's literally annoying. eBay allows it. Yes, it happens all the time, Elliot. Unfortunately, there's nothing you can do about it. Um, you just have to roll with punches. Nothing you can do. What's up, Mayor Bear? Mayor Bear sending all the gifts. Look at you. There she is. What's up, Dusty? Dusty's in the house. She sees Kayla because she's watching on YouTube and Facebook. Hi, Dusty. If you watch on YouTube and Facebook. You get the full view. You get to see all the Coogees in the background and everything. So make sure you hop over there if you're not hopped over there already. Appreciate all the GGs. Holy cow. You just went absolutely ham with the GGs. Good game to you. All right. This is a pretty cool find. I'm actually surprised. Appreciate you for the, the love of you. We love you too. This was a pretty good find. I'm surprised they priced this as low as they did. This was full price. It was a Brooks Brothers, a size small. It's a men's. Um, we only paid all this and all that. Appreciate you. We only paid $8 for this, but it's a leather Brooks Brothers jacket. It's That's got a, a nice, nice quilted jacket. liner. Yeah, if this was my size, I might actually consider keeping it for winter because this is a super, it's a suede leather quilted liner, eight bucks. Um, I'm assuming that this is like a come winter season. It's a size small, so it's probably like an $80 jacket. If it was a bigger size, it might sell for a little bit more. But the fact they priced that at eight bucks, that tells me that they want to start moving inventory, especially winter stuff. They get winter stuff at this store year round. And if they're already starting to price leather jackets down, it's just going to get better and better and better. I'm not a size small, so I can't keep it unless I lose a little bit of weight. But your boy likes eating, so I don't think that's happening anytime soon. Like what, what we're going to do after the slide, me and her are literally going to go into the fridge, grab our public sub, sit around the table, and just watch each other munch on them. That's what we're going to do. You made that sound so weird. I don't care. It's facts. It's facts. No losing weight. Food is food is life. Yeah, like I have to eat that chicken. I got to eat that pumpkin pie. I keep seeing the meme that said food calls to me like Moana. The ocean calls to Moana. <laughs> food so calls accurate. to me like the ocean calls to Moana. <laughs> Oh, that's me. That's you? Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a little making me want to sneeze. I know. I'm going to have to be quick with this one. <sighs> I sneeze. Stop. You're going to make me sneeze. Oh. This is an Eileen Fisher. This is a small, but this is a baby alpaca wool. I think it said silk, too. Wool silk blend. What do we got? They had to get Baby off, alpaca um, wool silk blend. Off a of baby alpaca. They couldn't have gone off a regular one. They had to go straight for the baby ones. For 10 bucks. The babies must have uh, softer fur. This looks a little bigger than a small. It'll probably fit like maybe a medium, but this is really nice. Ten bucks. That's not bad. Ten bucks, and it's all those things. This one, are you gonna list now or? Probably later. Later. Oh, that's gonna make me sneeze. I'm like allergic to everything. That made me sneeze. <laughs> Bless you. Another Eileen Fisher medium. This was five bucks. She is a hundred percent silk. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Nice, She's uh, got a nice, nice pattern. little ruffle to it too. Yeah, Eileen Fisher. I try and pick up uh, where the material is nice. Uh, silk, mohair, baby alpacas. Five bucks for that too. That's crazy. Linen. Oh, hell. Sorry. Yeah, wake the baby up. Yeah, that was gonna happen. This is a North Face I found. It is a small, but this is a nice North Face. Mm -hmm. Where's the? What did we say? Did I have a thing? Oh, I don't think so. Oh, it's a high vent. High vent? Yep. It's nice, like hooded high vent one, too. Thank you. For the bless you. Everybody's sneezing. Bless everybody. Yeah. All the alpacas. My eyes are starting to itch. Sneeze. What else we got? Salute. More Lulus. These were $7. So you can find them at our store for 7 You just got to. Got to hunt. You just got to look. I like the pattern on these Lulus. These might be a what not. That's a good sign, too, that they're starting to price Lulus down, too, because they know how to find Lulus. So I'm sure they yes. knew what these were, but that means they're Lulus sitting. That means they're not selling they're expensive. it. expensive. They're like, if you were on my live, they're like no less than 15 I mean, yeah. sometimes you can snag them for They've less been pricing than 10, these for like 35 So now that they're pricing them yeah. for, what was that, 17 or $15, yeah. now they're half off for 750 That's a pickup for Lulu. So that's a good sign, too. Like I tell you guys, Prices go up in thrift stores, and if stuff doesn't sell, they have to drop the price, especially a for-profit thrift store because they're buying their inventory. If it sits on the shelf, they make no money, so they have to sell it. Goodwill, they get their shit for free. They can let it sit there for years. They don't care, but this for-profit thrift store has to sell their stuff. Yeah. 
This is Lulu. Uh, shout out, Emily. We were looking for Viore leggings that we were trying to find in the blue <laughs> leggings section that I we were not finding. I don't know how I missed these, but I did. And then I happened to look down and I saw the logo and I'm like, oh, look, Lulu's. So we didn't find the Viore, but we found some Lulu's for seven bucks. And these are a size 10. So these are a good size. Mm -hmm. So it's like just solid sweats. blue. Yeah. Good Lulu's. Yeah. For seven bucks. So you keep, they're there. I missed them too. Yeah. We all like, we, I didn't even see them at all. They didn't, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll get them. We'll keep finding them. These are Marine Layer. Good brand. For $4. Good brand to be on the lookout for. Marine these are layer. joggers. Marine Layer joggers. These feel nice. Mm hmm. All marine layer stuff sells super fast. As long as you price it accordingly, it'll sell super fast. Mm. That was a good find. I probably would have missed those. Well, I took like a double or triple take. So I'm like, what? wait a second. Marine layer, marine layer. We just sold the sweater Yep. and the, the Facebook jacket. We haven't sold the sweater, but we got offers on it already. Oh, okay. I thought we sold the jacket. Athleta. These are the Fairlawn joggers. These are a size 10. And these were six fifty. I've passed these. These were sitting there probably for the last like two weeks because the price was too high. Now they were, or maybe they were there last week. I don't know. They anyway, because they're there a blue tag, so they haven't marked them down yet. But yeah, no, they, those were there last week. Yes, I think we yes. passed on them last week. Actually, those were in our cart. Yes, I put I them in there because I was like twelve. Sometimes I'm like eh, maybe, and then I'm we put it back. What else we got? Some Patagucci, size 12. Paid seven fifty for some shorts. I didn't find any Patagucci today. I normally find at least one Patagucci item in that store, but you found the only Patagucci. Found them. Good size. Nice outdoor shorts. Did you end up getting the star leggings? Oh, those. No. Um. So the sold comps were like 35-ish, and they were still, they were 17. So I put them back. But there was, um, when he was cashing out, I was like walking around, and there was even more, not even in the leggings section. But they were all still 17 bucks. So somebody said you're not burning up in the sweater. She's always cold. <sighs> and this is a this is a linen blend one. So it actually is a little bit cooler than a, a normal sweater. <sighs> Hold on, guys. I'm lost. All right, there we go. More Athleta medium shorts. These were eight dollars. We did pay eight, but these have I don't I don't know if you guys can see the pattern. Actually, you can. YouTube. It's like can a see cool it. pattern on it. TikTok can see it. These are nice. lined shorts. Workout shorts. I found a bunch of figs today. Ooh. Figgies. Figs. We love figs. Shiny. Yes, they are shiny. These are small Athleta, but these are army print or camo print. And they have the back zip here. So we paid eight for these. And they have the stash pocket. Stash pocket. For what? What do you put back there? Stash or stuff? Stash. Or stash? <laughs> Oh, those will go fast. Yeah, see, those were eight, but they have a good pattern to them, and they are small, so it, I took that all into account. Medium Athletas. These are a, I was going to say camo, but these are not. They are a really cool print, though. They're like an Aztec print, almost, like a like a southwest, western kind of print. Like a, yeah, like a ombre. Smoky, smoky print. Interesting, but I liked the pattern. And they were only five bucks. Five bucks. Yeah. Ombre, yeah, they're like an ombre. More Spanx. These are a large camo print. We did pay ten bucks. Good print, and they're Spanx, so mm -hmm. these are nice leggings. Easy money. And Eileen Fisher. This is a large. And she is. Hold on. She is a linen and silk blend, like blazer. Nice. And it's a nice color. Matches everything. It's a nice one. So, yeah. We have we have another one of these. I think it already sold. I think. I don't remember. Is that everything? And that is it. That's all she Peach. wrote. So that's everything we picked up. The live from today, of course, will be up within the next two days. I think tonight after this live, I'm going to post... The haul from the other day, if you guys remember, we did a um, haul on YouTube or on on TikTok. Oh, I can't eat the fire. 
Um, we did a haul <laughs> on TikTok of the recent like bulk buys that I've been doing. I'm going back to his house tomorrow to get even more stuff, but that'll be posted after this live. I have it already ready to go. So go check that out. Um, tomorrow. Oh, by the way, we're going to do a whatnot show this weekend. Hopefully we'll have our t-shirts in. We're still waiting for them to give us confirmation on those. Hopefully those will come in. Um, tomorrow we may or may not have, um, a special guest on live. So, um, be sure to check that out. You guys with the guest. Um, <laughs> they waited for the end. You see that? <laughs> be sure to be sure to come back tomorrow. I, I might have a special guest. It's still up in the air, still up in the air about the special guest. So are you um, going to do that? Yeah. I mean, gift? they're giving me all these gifts. I have to eat them. Okay. I can't just, <laughs> No, I meant distracting. tomorrow night. Oh, tomorrow. No, I won't be doing that with a special <laughs> guest. No. Um, so I already announced it. Uh, Orlando from Pure Also Podcast. He might, might be on tomorrow. He still hasn't given me confirmation. If not, we'll set it up for a different day. If he's not here, then we'll just do a normal like listing live or something like that. So um, yeah. And then that's it. There's something else I wanted to say too. I can't remember what I was going to say. I was going to announce something else. Dusty said you're creepy. I know. I don't care. That's the. <laughs> I thought you were barking. I thought you were barking. No, there's gifts. They, they keep giving me food gifts. I got to keep eating them every time they send me a food gift. But um, yeah. What was I gonna? I was gonna say something else, and I forget now. But oh well. I'll remember it tomorrow on live. I'll be live tomorrow morning, shipping out orders like normal. So if you're not following, hit that follow button top left hand corner. Um, if you're following, if you're not following on YouTube or Facebook, uh, make sure you subscribe and follow there too. Tomorrow morning, um, right around 10 a.m., I should be ready to go pack out all the orders. I did sell something on Mercari for $150 today and it was a shirt. So if you want to see what I sold, uh, and I don't think my Mercari is pinned. So you guys probably have to like search to find it. Come tomorrow morning. You'll see what I sold. It was a really, really good sale. So appreciate you guys hanging out. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.